Welcome to the first video of several that I am going to create on niche JRPGs that you can find on the Nintendo Switch. This is gonna be several videos and I hope you want to watch them all. Now if you are new, subscribe and hit the bell. Now in these videos I'm going to use the word JRPG very loosely, but basically they are niche, which means underrated and or they have just a very special dedicated audience to them which includes me though so i hope you will enjoy this video now the first game that i want to talk about in my niche jrpgs on the switch will be knights of asher 2. This is a sequel to Knights of Asher 1, which was released in 2015. This sequel was released in 2017. A game developed by Gust and published by Koei Tecmo. It is an action RPG where you play as Alush Anatoria, which is an agent of Curia and is fighting to get the land back to its original state from being engulfed in an eternal night. In the beginning of the game, while escorting Liliana, a girl chosen to be sacrificed to the Moon Queen, you die and later wake up to discover that you are now half demon. I'm gonna be honest with you, I enjoy this art style and it is also a very underrated game by Gust, the creators of Atelier. And I just love how all the characters look, but it is not the best game. It is a niche game, sure, but it's not the best game. I'm warning you, this is niche maybe for a reason. <laughs> Personally, I enjoyed Knights of Asher 1 much more. I have both of them in physical on PS4. So they are Gust and Koei Tecmo games and very cute. But in Asher 2, the funny control choice also ruined the experience a bit as you have to press the B button as a yes button and that is so unusual so this makes menu navigation frustrating you don't need to have played the first one before you jump into knights of asher 2 they are separate stories i also have to mention it is filled with yuri moments and fan service but i like it and it's nothing too much now the pros of this game is that it is very cute very pretty to look at and there are a lot of things to collect in the game now the cons of this game is like I said, the B button as yes situation. <laughs> also, bad frame rates on the Switch. Another con is the linearity, as in not feeling very much freedom. Also, there are time limits to some quests and it's not good. And the fact that Knights of Asher 1 was just much better. Which isn't on the Switch. Only Knights of Asher 2 is on the Switch. It's niche, now you know about it. It has its moments. It's not the best game ever. Pick it up on sale. Now the next niche game, Death End Request. Both one and two, actually. There are two games now out on the Switch. I have already talked about these two games a lot on this channel, so I can also make sure to link to those videos down below for you. But I can tell you this. These two games are visual novel and RPG hybrids, meaning that they are very story heavy, but with a great and engaging storytelling, mind you. And they are also RPGs with dungeon crawling and turn-based free roaming combat. I love this series personally, but I have also earlier mentioned that these games may not be for everyone since they are heavy on the visual novel parts. But in these games' defense, they have some of the most captivating stories that I have come across in recent times. They're just so well written. These are games developed by ID Factory. The first one was released in 2019 and the second one in 2020. So they are not old games by any means. They're quite new actually. In the first game, you play as a girl stuck in an MMO universe she helped create as a game developer. She has to complete the game and reach the end screen to trigger the log out screen so she can wake up in her own body in the real world with a VR headset on her and they have no idea where her real body is. So she's stuck inside this MMO game. A very interesting story. Gameplay is all right. There are some quests, campsites, leveling up and equipment. In the second game, which is a separate story, you follow a girl that is sent to an orphanage where a lot of weird killings are happening. So this story is much more mystery driven and has a lot of horror elements in it. 
The gameplay is pretty much the same in this game too. The stellar storytelling in both of them. Now the pros with these games, like I said, exceptionally good storytelling, you know, story, and beautiful artworks. Now the cons to these games are, if you don't like reading a lot of text, these visual novel style games are not for you. You may actually find them boring. You play these games for the story. Story. So, so to speak. What? Now the next niche game on this list is Fate Stella the Umbral Star. So this game is a Musou action game by Marvelous from 2016, where you as the player is the master over servant spirits who fights in huge battlefield battles. I know the Fate series is super niche and has a very complex world lore. So what I mean is that story-wise it can be overwhelming and even confusing. But the art style for me is enjoyable and I also love the Musou gameplay style. One of the downsides of these types of games can be that the gameplay can feel repetitive after a while, but for some people that's never a problem. I know people that can, you know, grind in Musou games for 800 hours and never get tired of the repetitiveness. Um, I'm somewhere in the middle. Now the prawns to Fate Stella the Umbral Star is that it is, again, <laughs> pretty to look at. It has a big world lore and it is fun to play mindlessly. You don't have to think so much when you play a game like one that is in the Musou genre. And again, the cons to this game is the repetitiveness that comes with the Musou genre also. So yeah, that was some of the niche games that you can find on the Nintendo Switch. Not Asher 1 though. So you have Death and Request 1 and 2, Fate Stella the Umbral Star, and Knights of Asher 2. Now I hope you want to hit like on this video. If you want me to cover more niche JRPGs, which I know I will, please subscribe if you are new to this channel and listen to our podcast, The Disc Disc. Also check out the merch that we have for Disc Disc. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.